Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, righteous one, the messenger and the rhythm rider, passing through. And today, I'm going to talk to you about the autism spectrum disorder, also known as autism. Before we start chat about this sensitive topic, I would like to say a big thank you to my new subscribers, namely Taros Davis, Bailey Oris, John Chris Olate, Dia Ispier. Please, please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing your name properly. Thank you guys, though, you're awesome. Now back to the topic, autism. Until I had my son, called Roman David. I never heard of the autism autism disorder. It all started when he was one year's age. His carer at nursery told us that Roman David wasn't responding to his name. But we didn't make much of that. We just thought that every child was different in a way. And that he would be okay at the end of the day. Or as he grows up, he'll be alright. Roman David is my first child. And to be honest, I assumed he was alright until we took him for assessment when he was two years old after the assessment it was concluded that roman david was behind with his communication and social interaction skills the assessment also concluded that the way he he plays or his sense of imagination was different from or compared to normal kids the way he played and his manager was different basically after the assessment he was prescribed speech therapy and an appointment was set up for him to get diagnosed by a doctor at this point, I wouldn't say I was in denial. I just figured that every child had their own rate of development and in the end, things will work out or be okay. By the way, I started doing my own research on autism just in case. It came true or just in case it was diagnosed that he's autistic I was going online doing research I was talking to carers at nursery I talked to to parents and also professionals in child development I was asking questions like what time did your child start talking do kids at Roman's age speak and interact with each other do kids at Roman's age consciously make eye contact I mean 
I was just asking asking questions because I wanted to know what was going on. I was starting to get really concerned now, but the professionals assured me that it's good that Roman David has been clocked at an early age and that with help, he will catch up with his development. Then came the diagnosis and it was confirmed that Roman David was on the autistic spectrum. The doctors did not say exactly where he, where he is on the spectrum as they said they would have to monitor him through the ages to determine exactly what part of the spectrum is on. According to Wikipedia, autism is a developmental disorder characterized by troubles with social interaction and communication and restricted and repetitive behavior. Parents usually notice signs in the first two or three years of their child's life. These signs often develop gradually. Though some children with autism reach their developmental milestones at a normal pace and then worsen. For instance, kids with autism are repetitively stacking or lining up objects. Roman David does this a lot. He does a lot of lining up. Of, of objects. At times he will line up all of his toy cars in a certain order either by color or by size. Even though his speech is impaired he repetitively says certain words that he might have heard from somewhere especially from TV or menagerie and this is called achalalia achalalia or achalalia excuse me if I'm wrong <laughs> in professional terms I think I have said enough for today I haven't got a camera yet but I promise that if I do, I will share with you some pictures on Roman's development and progress in life. I already have some pictures that I could have shown you today, but as I said, I'm still waiting to get my camera. So until we meet again, it's your boy, I'd write just one, the messenger and the rhythm rider, passing through. Bless up. Peace.